Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Michael. Welcome back to IDB. In this video, I'm going over everything new on the iOS 16 lock screen. So this is the first time that we've had a complete overhaul to the lock screen experience in iOS 16. As you can see, it looks completely different and there are a ton of new features now on the lock screen as well. So I'm gonna show you everything in this video. So first up is you can have multiple lock screens. So if you simply press and hold on your lock screen, you can see you can swipe through your different lock screens that you've added. If you wanna add one, you can click on the plus icon at the bottom right. And this brings up the new wallpaper picker. So I covered all of this and all the new wallpapers in iOS 16 in a video that I made yesterday. So make sure to watch that. I'll have it linked on the top right corner of this video. So once you have selected a wallpaper, you're able to customize your lock screen. So if I press on customize right here, as you can see, the system is highlighting every single area that we can customize. So if we click on this first box up here, by default, it's set to show the date. So this is what it is by default. Now you can have a whole bunch of other options. So you can have suggestions from the system like activity, sunset, and your next calendar event. And you can scroll down and see all of the widgets available. So for this example, I think I'll change it to my activity rings. So you can see it still shows the date, but now it shows my activity for the day from my Apple Watch. Now we can also customize the time. So if I click on it right here, you can see we can choose between a bunch of different fonts. So this is the default font, but I think I like the way this one looks, so I'll choose this one. At the bottom, you can see we don't have many color options available, and that's because this uh, specific wallpaper doesn't allow for different colors on the clock. If you choose another lock screen, like uh, this one on an image, for example, and then you wanna change the color of the clock, as you can see, you get a whole bunch of colors available. So you can change it to a blue if you want, and you can uh, fine tune the color with the slider right here. And if you scroll, you can also get a color wheel and you can exactly pick the color that you want on your lock screen. So if I pick this red, for example, I can then fine tune it. And as you can see, if you pay attention to the sky and the clouds behind the clock, it's actually adjusting the image setting so the clock is uh, easier to see. So that's kind of cool. So it doesn't just change the color of the clock, it also kind of changes the color of your image as well. Uh, so it's a bit more legible on your lock screen. So the ability to fine tune the color of the clock really adds that extra level of personalization to iOS. So jumping back to this lock screen now, as you can see, I have three widgets here on my lock screen. So you can access these and edit them the exact same way. All you have to do is press and hold and then hit customize and then click on the box where all of your widgets are. So you have two sizes of widgets available. You have small ones and then you have large ones. You can fit up to four small widgets or two large widgets. So if I just remove a few right here, I can show you how this works. So if I wanna add a large widget, I can just tap on it. And then you can also drag them in if you wanna have a different order. So I can drag in weather right here and put it to the left of my activity rings. And then it looks like I have room for one more. So let's add my Apple Watch battery life just like that. So what if I don't wanna have my Apple Watch battery here? What if I want it to be my iPhone battery? Well, you can actually customize these widgets. So if you go back into your widget view and then you click on the widget itself, you can see you can actually edit these widgets. So you can turn off automatic and then you can choose which device you want the battery widget to be showing. So you can have your watch or your phone. So I'll have it set to my iPhone this time. And then there we go, you can see it's showing my iPhone battery life instead of my watch. And then you can also edit other widgets as well. So if I click on the weather widget right here, you can see I'm able to choose from all of my locations. The default is your current location, but you can edit it to any location in your weather app as well. So that's pretty useful. And another thing that's pretty cool on your lock screen is when you add a new one, you can actually get automatic widgets. So if I choose this weather lock screen, for example, as you can see, it automatically puts the weather widget and then it tells me the temperature and it also tells me the air quality index as well. So depending on the lock screen setup you choose, the system is going to choose various widgets for you as well. So another really cool feature in iOS 16 on the lock screen is you can actually have the lock screen change based on what focus mode you're currently in. 
So if you wanna have a certain lock screen for when you get to work, you are now able to do this in iOS 16. So if you press and hold on the lock screen, and then you choose another lock screen that you wanna tie a focus mode to. So let's say for example, the weather one here. You can see there's a focus mode button here at the bottom. And if I click on that, you can see you can choose whichever focus mode you wanna to link to this wallpaper. So let's say work, and then we're done. And then as soon as we are in our work focus, it'll switch to this wallpaper. So I'll go back to my default one. And then if I go to control center and I choose my work focus right here, as you can see, it automatically changes my wallpaper based on what focus mode I'm in. So this is useful, for example, if you wanna have maybe certain widgets that are associated with your work, or you wanna see different information based on your focus mode. So this is really useful. And again, it just adds that extra level of personalization. So another feature I wanna talk about is called Live Activities. So Live Activities is an API that will be available to developers. And this is going to be useful once iOS 16 is out to everybody and developers have had time to update their applications. So this is useful for applications that constantly send you notifications. So for example, maybe a sports application is constantly sending you updates on the score of a game, or maybe a food delivery application is constantly sending you notifications on where your food is. Now you can just have one notification that lives at the bottom of the lock screen that updates in real time. So I can't show you this right now because we are in beta, but this is a very cool feature that is in iOS 16. So you can finally get rid of all those pesky uh, recurring notifications. So I can kind of show you an example of what live activities is going to be like. In iOS 16, if you have a timer going, the timer is actually going to show up in your lock screen as a live activity because it's something that you're currently doing that you want to keep track of. So if you have a timer going, as you can see here, it'll live at the bottom of your lock screen now in iOS 16. And then one final change in iOS 16 is how notifications work. So as you've been able to see this entire video, I had a notification down here. And before in iOS 15, all of your notifications would come in from under the time. And if you had a whole bunch of notifications stacking up throughout the day, it would block your wallpaper. But now notifications are just gonna stack up at the bottom of your screen. And then if you wanna dismiss your notifications, all you have to do is flick them away and they will be hidden just like that. So now just to finish up the video, I wanna give you my final thoughts. So I really, really like what Apple has done with the lock screen on iOS 16. So whether you're changing the font of your time or changing the color or adding widgets or maybe doing all of that, we finally have personalization options in iOS 16 and I really love it. And also with the live activities and the changing of how notifications work, I really feel like this is the refresh that iOS 16 needed on the lock screen. So now I want you guys to head down in the comments and tell me what is one new favorite feature of yours in the iOS 16 lock screen. Maybe it's being able to customize the font and the color of the time. Maybe it's the widgets, or maybe you like all the new updates to notifications and live activities. Make sure to comment down below and tell me your favorite feature on the lock screen. So that's gonna do it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Michael with IDB, and I'll see you in the next video.